how easily accessible they need to be to their kids. How easy should it be for a child to be able to come to their parent and say anything? You know, I'll tell you something. This is easy to talk about, difficult to live by. I have, you know, alhamdulillah, when I, when I only had one child, you're very protective of your first child, and then the second and third comes along, and then you mix up their names. <laughs> right? Hey, you, Kareem, uh, I mean, Husna, I mean, number four. <laughs> or were you three? Which one? Just get away from there. <laughs> you know, you go through the extended family's names before you get their name right, but... My daughter, my, my, my eldest, when she was in preschool, she goes to preschool, she comes home one day, and she comes and she's, it's like three and a half, four years old. She comes home, she goes to me, Abba, Yusuf is so funny. There's some kid named Yusuf in the class. He sounds like, who's Yusuf? <laughs> Tell me everything you know. Who's Yusuf? <laughs> and my wife saw it from a corner of her eye. And she goes, uh, Naman, can I talk to you for a second? And I came over and said, what is it? He goes, you stay quiet. <laughs> and she took her and she, and then she talked, my wife talked to me later, she said, listen, you don't think your child can see that you're getting upset? I was like, yeah, I'm sure she could. If she sees that she, you're getting upset, next time, when it comes to telling you anything about what happens in class, will she open her mouth or keep it shut? She'll keep it shut. She won't say anything. She's gonna hide things from you. And it'll be your fault. Because you look like you got upset. It's entirely your fault. You can't close that door on her. You have to just listen. It's harmless, she's three years old, four years old, what's the big deal? Relax, calm down. 